Hey guys, welcome back to another Mansion 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be creating a portal gun in which we can shoot two different portals and we'll be able to walk into that door and teleport through it. So this is basically going to be pretty much the same as the portal gun from the game portal, just obviously without the actual visual of the gun. So let me show you what this is going to look like today. So if we left click, we're going to get a blue portal. If we right click, we're going to get an orange portal. If we walk into the blue portal, we're going to come out the orange. We're going to the orange should come out the blue there we go now you see that's just because it's on an elevated part i struggle to jump straight into it but this is what we're going to be creating today so again if i do the other way around so blue is over there orange is here and also you can see when we spawn another one the other one despawns disappears like so if we go into it this is what we're going to be making today so let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've created this so what we want to do first is we want to duplicate our first person projectile bullet as that is what we're going to be using. So we're not going to use a projectile, we're just going to duplicate and edit it. So this just saves us having to create a new one. So we're just going to right click on it, duplicate like so. And I'm going to name this one blue projectile BP like so, or actually just blue projectile, sorry. So you can name this whatever you like, but that makes sense for me. So I'm going to open it up straight away. In here, we're just going to delete all this code apart from event hit and everything else is the same. So the reason we've just duplicated it so we have the projectile, the sphere, the collision, all that good stuff, and the event hit here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to select the projectile up in the top left here, and then we're going to search for should bounce, and we're just going to untick that. So if the projectile won't bounce, when it hits a surface, it will stay there. So we're going to untick that and close that like so. And what we're going to do next, before we do any code in here, we're just going to quickly create our blue door as well. And that's just because we're going to be using references to that in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this, right click, get a blueprint class, get an actor, I'm just going to call this one blue portal door BP like so and open that up straight away. In here we want to add some cubes, so I'm going to add a component, add a cube, and this one is going to be called door, and I'm just going to set the scale of this to be 0.55 on the x, 0.04 on the y, and 1 on the z. So we have this kind of door shape here, I'm going to rotate it by 90 on the y as well, and this is just so that it spawns how we want it to you can obviously change this later on if you want to but this is how I'm going to be doing it so this works for me then I'm also just going to change its material to just be a blue color which we already have by default here so I'll use the vertex color view mode blue only there so we just have a nice blue material then we're going to add another component we're going to add another cube this one I'm just going to call reference so this is where we want the player to spawn so once they leave the portal this is where they're going to spawn so I'm just going to move it forward a little bit and then scale it down just like so and let's say I want them to spawn there so when they come out the portal they're going to come out here what we're going to do is we're just going to turn off all this collision so untick generate over events can character step up on no and collision presets as no collision and we're also just going to tick hidden in game so that we can't see it in the game so as far as the player is aware this doesn't exist there's no collision and they can't see it it's just for us to use as a reference and we're going to compile save that and again we're going to minimize this we're going to go into our character blueprint now. So we're just setting everything up first before we start writing code. So we're just going to open up the first person character. In here, we're going to create some variables. So we're going to hit the plus variable. This one is going to be called blue portal lock for location. And we're going to set this to be a vector like so. Compile that. We're going to hit the plus variable again. Call this one red portal lock. And this is going to be the red portal location, which again is going to be a vector. So we're going to be setting these through the blueprints for the portals and projectiles. So now what we can do, now we set everything up, we can go back to our blue projectile up here, so our blue portal projectile. Off of event hit, we're going to get all actors of class, like so. This actor class, this is our blue projectile, this is going to be our blue portal door BP here, like so. Out of the out actors, we're going to get a copy. I'm going to leave that as zero. So it's the first index, and then out of this, return value of that, we're going to get an is valid with a question mark there plug the execution into the get all actors of class I'll say why we're doing that in a second is valid is going to go into a destroy actor so actually we'll come out if you get a copy get a destroy actor and that will go in is valid so we're getting the is valid because we only want to try and destroy this portal door if it does exist if it doesn't exist we won't try and destroy it and that just prevents us from getting errors later on because otherwise the code will try to destroy something which doesn't exist after this destroy actor, we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay. I'm going to set this duration to be 0.1 seconds. And this just means that when we spawn in the door after this, this delay here means that it's not going to get deleted. So we're getting all the actors of class 
This just means that that dog won't get deleted as well. We want to keep it there. So then after this delay, what we want to do is we want to spawn actor from class, like so. The class is going to be our blue portal door BP, like so. We're going to right click the spawn transform and split structure bin. The spawn location is going to be this hit location off of the event hit here. So it's going to spawn the door where the bullet the projectile, the portal projectile lands. And then for the rotation, what we want to do is we want to come out the hit normal and we want to make rot from Y like so. So it's going to make a rotation from the Y axis, plugging that into spawn transform rotation there. So that will work perfectly for us. So now it's going to spawn in the correct location and rotation. And I'll up the scale to let's say three, as that's what I found to be good earlier. But you can mess about with that to get it perfect for you. Out of the return value of this, sorry, also one other thing. This is not valid, we want to just go straight into the spawn actor. So if it's not valid, so there isn't a door, we're going to spawn one. If there is a door, it's going to come out of is valid, destroy that one, and then spawn another one. So we're going to do that like so. Now out of the return value here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the reference, which is the cube that we made for where we want the player to spawn. So get reference like so. Out of this, I'm going to get world location. So where that is in the world. So where do we want the player to spawn? We're going to get that location of it. And then out of the execution of the spawn actor from class, we're going to cast to first person character, like so, with the object as get player character. And then as third person character, we're going to set blue portal lock, like so. Plug it in there with the blue portal lock return value as the return value of the get world location. So what we're doing is we're getting the world location of our reference for this door, so where we want the player to spawn, and we're setting that as our blue portal location here, so that is where we want the player to spawn. We're actually setting that as a variable. And then out of this, we're gonna get just a simple destroy actor, and this is just gonna destroy the projectile. So once it's done all the code we want, it's set all the variables we need, spawned in the door, all that good stuff, we're just gonna get rid of the projectile. And that will work perfectly like so, so now we don't have a blue ball there, we instead have a blue door. So that's all this is doing. Once we fire off the blue projectile, once it hits, it's going to delete any doors if we already have them, spawn in a new door, and then get rid of the projectiles. So it's transforming the projectile into a door, and obviously setting the variables we need for references of where to spawn. So we can compile and save that like so. And then what I'm going to do is minimize this, and we're going to right click on the blue portal door BP, and we're going to duplicate that. I'm just going to rename this to orange door BP, or orange portal door. Like so, it's obviously we have the blue portal and the orange portal. So now we're just going to duplicate that. We open it up, we have all this good stuff in here which we want and we need. So we have the door, the reference, all the stuff that we want. All I'm going to simply do is just select the door and change the color to just be instead of the blue, I want it to be an orange. Which so let's use V red master transparent, like so. So that's a nice orange color, like that. Now we can use that. And then I'm going to do the same for the projectile. So I'm going to minimize this again. Right click blue projectile, actually I didn't change the color for that so let's open that up, quickly change the color too, so sphere, I'll change this from that material to just be simple blue like so. Now minimize, right click blue projectile, duplicate and I'm going to name this one orange projectile like so. And again open that up straight away and now we have all this code in here as well, we just need to change some little parts. So here where we have the get all that to the class. So the blue portal, we're going to delete the get a copy and change it to be our orange portal door BP like so. Out actors is again get a copy, plugging that into the is valid and the destroy actor there like so. So now it's going to destroy the orange portal instead of the blue because this is obviously our orange projectile. Spawn actor from class is now going to be the orange portal door BP instead. And then obviously we need to get a new reference or so return value, get reference like so. So we're just using the same code, but we're just changing it to make it unique for the correct projectile and door that we want. And then obviously, instead of setting the blue portal location out of the cast, we're going to set the orange, or as I call it red. So I call it red instead of orange. So set red portal location like so. And that is again going to be the world location there like that. We can compile and save that. So now we have the projectiles completely set up. We just now need to finish setting up the portals We've got the projectiles, we're just going to set up the portal so we can actually teleport now. So let's do the blue first. We're going to open up the blue portal door BP here and go over to the event graph like so. We're going to delete begin overlap and event tick and we're going to use the event actor begin overlap like so. So sorry, I think I said delete begin overlap, I meant begin play. So out of the other actor, 
I'm going to cast to our character. So for me, that's the first person character, like so. And then as third person character, I'm going to get the red portal location. So this is the blue portal. We want to get the red or the orange one. So that's where we want to teleport to. So we're going to get the other door. As third person character again, or as first person, sorry, we're going to set actor location like so. And the new location will be the red portal location there. So we're getting this variable here, which we set through the projectile here, like so. So we're setting it here, and then we're using it here. So we know where to spawn the player to. So this is just going to teleport the player to that location. And we're going to copy the cast and the set actor location there. So select them, control C. Let's go to the orange portal door BP, event graph, again delete begin play and event tick. Come off of begin overlap, just plugging this in here like so. As that as character, because this is the orange one, we want to get the blue. So we get blue portal lock like so, plugging that to set new location there. So now we've set up the projectile and the portal. So we can spawn in the portal where we need, and when we walk into the portal, it's going to teleport us. So we compile, save, we can actually close the projectiles and portals like so. And now what we need to do is set up actually firing these. So we're going to go back to the first person character to do that. And I'm just basically going to be using this code we already have here for the spawn projectile. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to right click down here and I'm going to get the left mouse button event. So left mouse button like so. And I'm going to disconnect this code up here for fire as I don't want it to fire this code off anymore. I want it to fire off the new code I'm making. Then I'm going to just select the mesh GP, get anim instance, montage play, and then also the spawn actor from class, get location, play sound, and then also all this down here, like so. So make sure you have this all selected so we can duplicate this to make our own firing mechanic. Select it, control C, control V down here, and plug this in. Now I'll run you through what I've got in a second, so don't worry if you don't know what to select. So let me just make sure I've got all this, like so. So what we have, is obviously our left mouse button event here. Mesh GP, get anim instance, going to the montage play just to play this animation of actually firing the gun. Out of that, we're going to go into a spawn actor from class, which we're going to change on the left mouse button. We're going to change this from first person projectile to be our blue portal projectile or just blue projectile there. So this is going to spawn in our blue portal projectile like so. The spawn transform is going to go into this return value down here for the make transform which is obviously the first person camera get world rotation that goes into the rotation of the make transform that also goes into a rotate vector with the gun offset going into an addition of the world location of the sphere and then obviously after all this we have our play sound location with the get actor location like so and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to make this a little bit quieter so put it as 0.3 as it's quite loud by default so now this is going to spawn in the blue projectile when we left click so we want to fire that off now all that's left is to do the right mouse button so to fire off the orange portal so we can simply just select all this, control C, control V to duplicate it down here. Instead of left mouse button, we're going to right click, get the right mouse button, like so. And again, this is how it works in portal as well. Use left click and right click to spawn the different portals. And then what we want to do from this is just change this from blue projectile to our orange projectile, like so. And now we have this all set up. So we compile and save, and we can now test to see if this is working. So let's minimize hit play to test this. So you can see if we press the left mouse button, it's fired off a blue projectile. And once that hit, it spawned a blue portal. If I right click, that spawned an orange projectile. So that spawned a blue projectile, gave us the orange door. The reason that happened is the orange projectile, we didn't change the color. So let's open it up, go to the viewport, select the sphere, and just change this to be orange, like so. So let's use this color here. We close this, and now let's look again. So left mouse button, blue projectile, blue door, right mouse button, orange projectile, orange door. If we walk into this here, we can get teleported all the way over here. If we go back into here, we get teleported here like so, so that works perfectly. And then if we left mouse button again, it's going to delete the other door, spawn that one, do the same with the orange, like so. If I do this the other way around, it will still work like that. If I go in here, that works perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this video, if you don't know anything you want to do, We've set up different portals and different projectiles, so we can left mouse and right mouse to spawn in blue and orange portals, like the portal gun from the game portal, and this works perfectly, so they will spawn the correct portals like so, and we can use them to teleport through as well. So thanks so much for watching, 
I hope you enjoyed and I hope you find it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.